a new power world duplication glitch which allows you to get easy legendary schematics with no problem at all people you do not want to miss this one how's it going guys my name is dpj before we go any further i'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice to be with a chance of winning simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on winners are picked from the comment section and i will be announced at the end of the week so good luck so we all know of the older power world duplication glitch where you'd more or less duplicate certain craftable items at zero cost to your materials then be able to break said item down and claim materials said back that's used to craft it but you didn't use any so you got basically a duplication of said materials it wasn't very consistent for many many people because it required a ton of great timing but to be honest i like many others if you get the strat down you could indeed make good use of it well there's a new way to duplicate items and although it may be a little more limited in regards to what items you can duplicate you can still duplicate certain materials items to make loads of money off legendary schematics and the list gets even better guys i'm talking power souls small medium and large the technical manuals so you can get infinite technology points ancient technology points i'm talking power metal ingots pure quartz you name it guys this works so how exactly does this work well i think you'll be surprised so how to do this is actually quite simple and it just comes down to you butchering your pals but them not actually dying therefore we get said materials that said powers drop but actually we don't lose the power so you can rinse and repeat this over and over and over on that same pal getting their materials constantly people the only requirements are is that you have that meat cleaver to butcher said pals and the pals you plan on doing this must have a saddle so you can mount them and that is literally it that is all you need guys so it is as simple as this with that meat cleaver in hand and said pal in your party throw out that pal then guys select to butcher the pal and this is where it takes a little bit of timing but it is super super easy when you butcher a pal it takes a total of three swings of that meat cleaver before that pal is butchered and you get its drops what you actually want to do here guys is mount the pal after that second swing so when you select to butcher that pal you swing that meat cleaver three times after the second swing simply press the button to mount that pal what this does is it actually kind of bugs things out a little bit, but nothing we can't recover. Uh, so your power looks like it's over and out for it. But actually, guys, you can simply just recall the power uh, back to your party by using the same button you used to throw it out. Then, guys, you can throw it back out and repeat this process over and over. Now, after the first time you do this with said power, the second time you throw it out, it doesn't look like your power just falls through the floor. But by simply just selecting to butcher the pal again the process works completely fine exactly the way it did before and while to stop this from happening guys if you want to ride that pal again if you don't want it to glitch out you simply put the pal back inside your power box and take it back out and everything goes back to normal now sometimes you can get a glitch in the top left corner of your screen this does go over time but if you want to get rid of it straight away you can simply just save the game quit out and load back in and it's gone people now again how this works is so easy you need to have a pal which has a saddle on it and make sure you have that saddle unlocked have the pal in your party and have that meat cleaver equipped throw that pal out and then select to butcher it after that second swing simply mount the pal by pressing the mount button you will notice you will now get loot for said pal but you can actually here recall the pal back to your party and repeat this process over and over now there are many mountable powers in this game which drop some great items for instance astagon here drops power metal ingots and pure quartz you can use this glitch to get infinite amount of these easy but you are probably thinking what i'm about to say yes there are powers in this game which you can mount which drop those technical manuals like shadow beak yes this works with him too this means you get infinite technology points jet Ragon can drop those pure quartz polymer carbon fiber Diamonds works perfectly with Jet Dragon. Frost Stallion Nut drops large power souls, people. Infinite amount of these. How Sefer drops medium power souls. Infinite amount of these. Necromus also drops those technical manuals too. He also drops those power metal ingots. Pretty easy, pretty cool. 
but it actually gets even better. Other world bosses that normally drop ancient technology points, if you've captured them, you can use this with them and get infinite ancient technology points from as well as whatever else they drop. But wait, there's even more. Legendary schematics can drop from you butchering the said alpha bosses you've previously caught. So yeah, any alpha boss that you've already caught, and we'll go through them in a second and what they drop. If you do this with them, there's a chance they drop that legendary schematic if it's in their loot pool. But remember, this is very important. This will only work with pals you can mount. So make sure you have said saddles unlocked and make sure you mount that pal after that second swing because if you leave it too late your pal is gone for good so probably practice some pals those spares you don't really care about first before going on to your mains so let's check out what actual pals what alpha bosses drop these are legendary schematics while jet Ragen, the level 50 world boss if you've caught him you can use this with jet Ragen, and he can drop you the legendary rocket launcher schematic palladius and necromus also legendary alpha world bosses at a level 50 found on the map works perfect with them too they drop the heat and cold resistant pal metal armor schematics Frost Stallion drops the Power Metal Helmet Legendary Schematic. Blazemot drops the Legendary Assault Rifle Schematic. Suzaku drops the Legendary Shotgun Schematic. Beacon People drops the Legendary Handgun Schematic. Even King Packer, he drops the Legendary Old Bow Schematic. All of these will work with this glitch for you to farm them over and over and over until you get that legendary schematic drop. Now keep in mind, it isn't a guarantee, it doesn't drop every single time, so you may have to do this and repeat this process a few times before you see these legendary schematics drop, but eventually guys, they will do it for you so yes it really is as simple as that as long as you guys have that meat cleaver and that said pal has that uh that saddle on it so you can mount you can do this for as long as you like gain infinite materials infinite of what we said in this video large pal souls medium pal souls pure quartz polymer diamonds legendary schematics i mean you name it guys if there's a pal in this game which you can mount check your pal decks uh if you can mount said pal you can get its drops it's as simple as that so if there's anything you need just check that out but there we have it guys an amazing new duplication glitch which will work wonders for you and it's really easy to do guys if you've enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one